Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. <laughs> Quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember I may have something for you. Hmm. What do you have? I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Supplies, and I have money? Ooh. All right, I don't really use guns all that much. I usually forget that they exist. I may, I may buy this stuff. I don't know if I need to buy other stuff though. Stuff that I have, ooh. Might be able to start making cures. I can sell this for 14. Eh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That doesn't seem like that great of a resale value. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. And the stuff I want is 32. I don't know if 14's worth it. How's the situation around here? How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is alright? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. He is blunt. Smuggling weapons. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. What's your occupation? So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Most of the time? He's healthy. How's the sanitary situation? Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. You sound like you've had it rough. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. So we have to go find Milton's wallet. Personal questions? Hint required. Goodbye, Milton. The tippets come back. Another night with the glorious We have no effective treatment for this influenza. We are horrific liars. <laughs> good evening, Dr. Tippets. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Mm, I just had a question for you. Oh, no. Nope. I was hoping that I would get a hint from talking to, um... Oh, yes. There it is. Talking to Branna. You are exhausted. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. <laughs> she should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. Oh. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. <laughs> I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Good. <laughs> Good. What's your mesmerized level? Oh, all right. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. I'm just checking, feeling around. I didn't check Milton's. 
She's in there. I shouldn't have anything extra to say to her. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. You think? The life running in your veins. This dead flesh needs it. Oh, please spare me, Dark Queen. Spare your obedient slave. <laughs> oh, I love this woman. Okay, hold on. I have wasted too much energy for so little result. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pippa. Where are you going? Hold on. Hold on. Something important may be happening. Nurses are needed now. Inquire at the nearest appointment office of Mystery Ministry of Labor and National Service or write to 15 Kinways, London. Damn it! I thought that would pause. Damn it, that's empty. Go on in there. That's a locked doorway. We can't actually get in there. Normally I would wait until we've unlocked this, but I have spent hours waiting for him to do that. And uh and I'm not going to I'm not going to do it again. Oh, tell me I can get there. Shoot. I may not even remember how to get there. one? No? This isn't it. Damn it. Crumpled letter. Dear love, I finally found the missing money for the fee asked by the ambulance driver to bring you to the hospital. Don't worry about nothing now except getting better, for I took care of everything. I asked some of our neighbors, and they told me that this Mr. Hooks is something of an honest crook. He may ask for extra money in exchange for a bed, but the bed is then guaranteed. I'm sorry I refused to pay first, and I realize now that the important thing is that you get better soon. The Pembroke Hospital is a good place, I heard. Despite the bad behavior of this Milton Hooks, I promise you that everything is okay now. I'll see you in your clean bed as soon as possible. With fondest love, Nikolai. Great! <sighs> Frick. I don't... I don't think I'm gonna get to tip it. You are someone to talk to as well. Crap! I went too far around the hospital. I think I'm gonna have to do it later, after I've, um, caught my bearings. There's some kind of scaffolding that we need to jump up on, and it's not that. That's our office. Thought it was before the office? But that's not it. He's probably done by now. Screw it, I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go a little further. This might be the unsafe area where I get myself killed. Do I just need to go a little further? Where the heck is it? <laughs> Public notice. Prevent influenza. Cover each cough and sneeze with a handkerchief. Walk to work. Do not spit. Drink from your own cup. Avoid crowds. If taken ill, go to bed and send for a doctor to make a mask. Take a piece of ordinary cheesecloth, 8 by 16 inches. Fold it to make it 8 by 8 inches. Next, fold this to make it 8 by 4 inches. The cord's about 10 inches long. At each corner, apply one over the mouth and nose as shown in the picture. Where the heck? Scowl voices in the garden. Oh yeah. I should investigate. Found it. If they were to find somebody. He's already left. But anyway, we need to find him up there and spy on him. Milton lost his wallet. I should maybe technically wait for you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're a little early, but let's just do it. Okay, go slow. Get that first. Damn it! Oh, Jesus. Oh, 
Damn, that blood spirit did not quite work as well. Come on, let's not die. Let's not die, Jonathan. Bite him. Dang. I probably need to level. <laughs> we weren't supposed to come back here right now. But I have a Milton's wallet. Photography of a smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pippa forever. Milton, I found your wallet. I don't even know what's back here. And I don't even think that I should be back here. Ooh. Well, that was worthwhile. Can maybe sell the bullets. It might work out better for us. By order of Board of Health, quarantine. Keep out of this area. Contagious disease. One shall enter or leave quarantine area without written of local health authority. Yeah. So we reached we reached the end of the game. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just I'm just collecting that, and then I'm going away. <laughs> all right, all right, that was fruitful. Ooh, you have a chest. I will talk to you later, but I want to open this. It's, it's locked. locked. That's right. I can't open that. Um, most char I don't think it's every character. There's. There's characters that have their own locked chest and you only get it if you kill them. So, what is this? Can no longer take any patients, hospital fool. Please go back home. Milton, I wanted to talk to Milton. You're still accepting patients, so... You're not too full. Is that what the sign is? Yeah, go back home. Tip it, got my eye on you. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Mm-hmm. I have some questions for you. Oh, I found your wallet. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah. Pippa Hawkins is my girl. So what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Yeah. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Dr. Reed. Personal questions. Extort... Well, let's talk about, you know, Pippa Hawkins. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. Bound by despair. During the war... I witnessed a few couples, just like you, come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. You could both get fired. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. I'm not one to judge. Also, this is the relationship that Nurse Brano does not approve of. And uh, I don't think that's ever explicitly stated, but this is this is what she's talking about. You're extorting money. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time, it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. I can't talk to you about that? About how that's a terrible thing? Alright, I guess that's all we have for now. I got almost all your hints. Goodbye, Milton. 
rest to evolve. Yeah, I know. I know. Did this? Yes, it did. It did glitter at me. Alright, Pippa, where'd you go? You were over here treating these lovely people. Disgust on every street corner. I will. Daily routine. Sean, let's talk to you real quick. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. So you'll notice Sean is wearing a crucifix and it's not affecting um, Jonathan. And I, I assume that that's because you have to be using it with intent. But that's just a theory. Um, about William Bishop. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. Why did he abduct you? Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. Who will talk to? You're either a hero or a fool. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for light. Uh, about Tom Watts? Do you know Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Despair? People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. And corruption? Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. Situation in the East End. What is the general situation in the East End, Dobbs? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. Wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads now? Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Well, Clay isn't missing. He's he's here. <laughs> Has the gang been threatening you? Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I have had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint. Not even criminals. Okay. First questions. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Are you a priest? Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Why not use your cross against William? Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Yeah, so, like I said, use with intent, I assume. How are you feeling? How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest, and then I can go back to the people who need me. Made friends since you arrived? Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really. 
But I recognise Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. So Harriet is in here, and we can't talk to her yet. But she does complain that nobody comes and visits her. Alright, I, I don't want to... Harriet? <laughs> Where are you, Pippa? I wanted to talk specifically to Pippa and not other medical staff right now. There you are, Pippa. Ooh, excuse me. It's, it's locked. locked, all right. But there's one that's not locked. Hello, sis. How are things in the big city? Here in Brom, things are not so good. It seems the flu is here again, and we have many new cases of infection in the neighborhood. Do you remember Miss Scheller, the old drinking hag from the third floor? She passed away two days ago, and her flat is already occupied again. Jeez, you'd have to pay me a huge amount of money to go sleep in the bed in which a woman died of the flu just a few hours ago. Sorry I did not take time to quickly answer your last letter. Between taking care of little Paul, mom, dad, and my job at the factory, I rarely find time to write to my favorite sister. By the way, my son says hello to his auntie Pippa. You should see the little bugger already driving me mad and mom says you bring back some of those marvelous cakes the next time you come back home. In your last letter, you told me you thought about quitting your job at the Pembroke Hospital. I have to tell you, Pip, you better think twice. There are always jobs at the factory, but wages are shit, and it's boring as day without a shag. Oh, I have a new fiancé, and no, I'm no slut, you moral bitch, you. So if you really want to quit and do something more useful than counting the dead every morning, maybe you better stay in London and join that band you told me about. The Guard of Prewin? Something like that? Never heard of them. But if they're, like you said, some sort of civil militia trying to make make a difference, then maybe it's a good choice for you. Just be sure to let others go in front. That's how my poor Billy got killed in France, by leading too many patrols. Bloody war. Anyway, come back as soon as you can, and give me all the good news before that. I am your affectionate sister, Lucy, Mom, Paul, and Dad. Peppa, I want to talk to you. There we go. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. How's the situation here? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Well, it won't last forever. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. How long have you been a nurse? How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Fair enough. You'd be surprised, you're right. You're right. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How's everyone coping? How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why is he grumpy? Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Oh, we got a new hint for him. 
Why especially the practitioners? Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Uh, and, and about your relationship? Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. You're thinking of leaving? Pepper, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. Well, be proud of what you've achieved. You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right. But at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. I can understand that. You want to be more useful? What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. You've lost faith in your oath? If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. And what about Milton? And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. Hmm. Well, I can certainly understand her feeling dejected. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Especially when, you know, your efforts seem hopeless. It makes sense. Alright, let me go talk to Milton because we got a new hint for him. Milton! Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. <laughs> I'm up on the post. Your mediocre reputation. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. <laughs> Jonathan changed his tune real quick. Nurse Hawkins is thinking of quitting. Do you know that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. The question is, where can we go? Where is it safe? We've got all his hints. Goodbye, Milton. Okay. Don't think we got anything extra for from for Pippa about any of that. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Doctor Reed. Don't think. Well, so we still got one more hint to find. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. All right. She said, "Go left." When we talk to her, go to the left. And at the end of the corridor. Is there anything for me to loot? Oh, can we talk to Swansea? Or is he busy right now? 
No, he is not. <laughs> okay, answers that question. Ooh, does this door open? No. Nothing in there. Ooh, got a hacksaw. T. Eldwood's medical file. Thomas Elwood, mage, male, age 28, followed by Dr. Tippett's. The patient's face has been heavily burnt and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even with the use of the strongest sedatives, he affirms to regularly endure severe pain from the wounds as if the flames are still burning under the skin, he says. Examinations of the cicatrized tissues show no trace of inflammation, infection, or swelling. Scars are clean. Could it be a case of persisting nerve damage? The patient never ceases to blame himself for his disfiguration. Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? Phantom pain manifesting as a punishment for not dying with his comrades. So that is a patient who we will speak with. I got some supplies. It's locked, all right. It is locked. Looks like Dr. Strickland's office. Nothing in here? All right, let's go to ours. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Mm. The flower's dying. It needs water. We'll get it some water. It's for us to refill our ammo. Nothing there. I kind of want to talk to patients before sleeping. Make sure we're leveled up as much as humanly possible for what will be coming. Alright. So we still can't craft any treatments yet. What is this? Oh, we we're supposed to analyze William Bishop's blood. We now have a serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 health points over 15 seconds. Can't make it yet. I'm going to small bag of junk. High resale value. I want the components. So I think, let's see, 150 stamina. So stamina is still less to use the machete, but it will not upgrade further, whereas you will. So I should have saved. Let's use that. Should have saved my resources and not spent it on this. <laughs> um, yeah, I like this better for sure. Don't like the two-handed weapons. I can't upgrade you further. What do you need? Tiny common handle part. And... You need a common handle part. Let's see if Milton has any of that. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. You do. You have a ton of time. <laughs> 